My name is Bob Garner. I work for Amco Pumps, and today we're going to demonstrate how to put a double seal on an ECH pump. We've got the components displayed here. We're going to start by taking what we call the stationary seat, and we're going to put a little elastomer lubricant on what's called the boot or the cup. And we're gonna press this into the cover. Make sure that is firmly seated. And at this point, you're gonna to wanna to wipe off the ceramic seat of any grease that may have gotten on there. Okay, clean the seat off. We got what's called the follower. We are going to press the second stationary seat after we lubricate it. And then the follower, make sure it's seated all the way down and then wipe that ceramic face off prevent any grease you may have gotten on there. Now we're going to take the follower and carefully load it onto the motor shaft. Um, this is ceramic, it's fragile. If you bang it against the shaft, you could crack or chip it and then you're going to have to replace it. Load that onto the motor shaft. Now we're going to take our shaft sleeve. We're going to set it on the bench, this shoulder side down, and then carefully load the cover onto the shaft sleeve. We're going to take one of our rotating seals and the first thing we're going to do is because this is held loosely in here we're going to add some grease to the back side of this to help hold it in there for when we assemble it onto the sleeve. Just a little bit of grease and it help hold that in. And then we're going to grease completely 360 degrees, the rubber elastomer side here. And at this point, we're gonna to wanna to wipe off anything we might have gotten on the seal face. We load, we set the sleeve shoulder side down and then carefully, because of that ceramic seat in there, we're gonna carefully load the sleeve into the cover. Take our rotating seal, press this onto the sleeve, and I use a couple of Allen wrenches to kind of help me slide this thing all the way down until we make contact with that stationary seat. Okay. Now we're going to load the spring we take our second rotating face lubricate the id 360 degrees and that gets loaded onto the sleeve in this direction And then we're gonna to wanna to wipe this face off. Once we have the rotating seal assembled, we're gonna to wanna to take note of the orientation of the flush ports at about 10 o'clock and two o'clock. 
We're going to load the cover carefully onto the motor shaft. And while we're doing this, we're going to continue to push that slash shaft sleeve in at the same time. And get the cover seated in this place. We're making sure that the key on the sleeve is in line with the key on the shaft. And we're going to place the key in. We're going to take the impeller. There's an O-ring. It goes in the groove in the impeller. I put a little grease on there to help keep it in. The impeller nut. Okay, once we have the impeller nut loosely on, we're going to find a device to fold the impeller. And we're gonna Tighten down the impeller nut, snugly. Then we're gonna come back here and bring the follower forward and install the bolts. And then we're gonna snug down those bolts in sequence. One side, back to the other side. Until that follower is all the way home. And we're going to take our casing gasket, put that over the cover. <coughs> Install the casing. Eight casing bolts in. We're going to tighten them down. We're going to do that in sequence, every other bolt. Complete. Wash ports.